Okay. Okay. So, um, Faith. Yes. So we're on for tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock. Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah. And we're going to be meeting at one two three Banana Street. That's correct. One two three Banana. And tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're meeting tomorrow at four o'clock. That's right. Saturday, 4 p.m. And um, I've just been talking to you along. Are you the only owner? Are you the only one making the decisions? Or there's someone else I besides am. you? I am. Only you. Okay. So, Faith, if what I say makes sense and you feel comfortable and confident that I can sell your home, um, are you planning to list your home when I see you tomorrow at 4? You know what, Hector? I, I think I'd like to hear what you have to say first. So. I'm not sure yet. Right to hear. Okay. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Are you interviewing other agents for the job of selling the home? You know, I got a referral from a friend of mine. So I, I think I should, uh, you know, at least give them the courtesy of interviewing them. Okay. Okay. But you haven't met with this person yet? I have not. No, it's going to okay. be on Sunday. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sunday, you're meeting with this person. <laughs> and you're going to be making the decision after you meet with this person? Or could it be the possibility that I can, what I present you is strong enough that you feel you want to go ahead? And sign. We'll hear what you have to say. I'm okay, not sure yet. And tell me again, where are you planning on moving next? We're going to uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. And how soon do you like to be there? Well, I'd love to be there by my birthday in November. November. Nice. Mm -hmm. So November, November, early November, late November. Uh, early November. Let's, let's say if it was the beginning of November, that would work great for me. November beginning. Okay. Why are you guys moving to, why are you moving to North Carolina? You know, that's a great question. I have a sister who lives there and her family and, you know, the housing prices are just so much better there. Okay. So you want to be closer to your sister? Mm -hmm. So you want to be closer to the sister. How that would help you out, you know, being closer to your sister? How would that impact your life? Yeah. You know what? I, I think it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, alone now and i think it would be nice for me to just kind of retire there to be near family i would like to be closer mm -hmm. okay someone no skin okay perfect so when i see you how much would you like to list your home for well, from what I'm seeing on the market in our development, things are selling between, you know, 550 and low 600. So I'd like to be near the higher, higher end, which would higher be, end. I don't know, just over 600, maybe 615. So somewhere around 615. Okay. Fantastic. You know that as a professional real estate agent, I study homes and prices every day. Therefore, I assume that you're going to list it with me at a price that will cost the home to sell, correct? You know, I definitely want to get it sold. I just don't want to give it away, Hector. I don't want to give it away. I'm going to make yeah. a note of that. Don't worry, I haven't given away a house yet. yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what price would you go below? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm not really thinking below, you know, 590. Okay, not below. Mm -hmm. 590. Okay. How much do you own the property right now? I owe about, I think it's just over 250. I have to double check. I'll, I'll 250,000. So you have a considerable amount of equity there. Fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about selling it yourself? Oh, no. I don't have no, time for no, that. no time for that. Okay. Would you help finance the home for the buyer or you want all your money back? You know, I like the cash out. You like to get the cash out. Okay. Yeah. So, no. No. Zero. Okay. Would you be, would you please describe your home for me in particular? Like uh, how many bathrooms, you know, how long ago was it the last time you did it? the roof, the kitchen, the, those sort of things? Sure. It's a four bedroom. 
uh, two two bathrooms, so two halves, two full. Okay. And the roof was done. I'm trying to think. Just probably about seven years ago. Seven years ago. Okay. Our HVAC system is probably closer to like 12 years old. We have two. I have two um, two zone heating, and I think we changed I changed one and then the other. So 12 years each. Yeah, approximately mm -hmm. 12 to 13. Okay. And um, what about the kitchen? How long ago was the last time you did the kitchen? Kitchen's probably eight years. Eight okay. years ago we did it. Kitchen, eight mm -hmm. years. And what about um, the floors? What kind of floors do you have? Yeah. All wood. Throughout all wood. Okay, yeah. all wood. Uh, do you have a finished basement? I do. Okay, I'm so you have a finished, finished basement. Mm -hmm. And what about a swimming pool? Uh, no pool. Okay. Lakefront, waterfront view? Nope. We're in a development, Hector. <laughs> okay. No pool. <laughs> okay, no lake. Okay. And you say the roof is about seven years old. Oh, yeah. wood. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And the bathrooms, how long are they before they... Well, I did them all kind of at the same time, probably w with the kitchen. So about year, eight years ago. Kitchen, eight years. Mm -hmm. Kitchen, eight years. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that information. You know, I'll be sending you a package of information. It's going to be in a red envelope, and we're going to put it outside your home. Mm -hmm. Would you take a few moments to review it? I will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. What totally. can be in that package? You know, it's going to be, that's a great question. It's going to be exactly all the information that we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we want you to have it. So you have it with you, so you can pay attention, you know, so you can review it way before we have the opportunity to meet tomorrow at four. Okay. Would that work for you? Yeah, no, I definitely want to look it over. Excellent. Do you have any questions for me before I arrive tomorrow at four o'clock? Uh, no, I don't think so. No questions. Okay. Are you going to actually, um, I, I do want to know about the market, what's going on in the market. Absolutely. So the market yeah. conditions. Yeah. Market conditions. Okay. So, you know, our meeting should only take anywhere between five to 25 minutes. Is that okay? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to be meeting tomorrow at four o'clock. Okay. Yep. That sounds good. And then I'll call you today to let you know when the package has been arrived. Has been developed. Okay. I mean, has arrived, or we have this, you know. Okay, Faith. So I'm looking forward to meeting you tomorrow at four o'clock. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank See you. See you then. Take care. Right. Okay, Bye -bye. that's it. The only thing. Oh. Yeah. So, what do you think, Faith? More energy needed. More energy. More energy, I thought. More energy. Okay, more and energy. I don't know, some of the questions were, um, I don't know, like it was, you said something about my motivation and not yes. what takes you there, what, what's in North Carolina, but something else, I don't know. You said, I wrote it down. How would, you, how would that impact. impact your life if you moved to Raleigh? Correct. How would that impact your life? Okay. Okay, is, is that... Isn't, is that, is it better to say um, what's taking you there? Because impact seems like, like a little bit stronger. Hard, is there a hard well, I think you said that first. Sorry to interrupt. But Hector, I think you said what's taking you there. And then I think, Faith, you paused and then you said, how would that impact your life? Because you started talking about your sister being there. Mm -hmm. So I think you did ask that question first. Okay. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, I said that. So okay. I said, so I said, what, you know, so what, you know, what brings you to rally? And then you said, yes, my sister lives there. And then I wanted to know how is that going to impact your life when you are closer to your sister? Okay. Maybe if you had said that, maybe if it said, if, it, if you, when you're closer to your sister or like, you know, I think that that, I don't want to belabor it, but I thought like, if you said, um, 
you know, if you weren't able to sell, how would that impact your life? Mm -hmm. Maybe that may, would make more sense. If you didn't, if you're not able to sell, if you're not able to sell your home by November. Cause I said, I wanted to be there by November. How does that impact you? I wouldn't probably use impact your life, but cause it, yeah. you know, it just seemed like a very heavy word, but. Oh, I know. No, no, it's uh, but that's one of the things that I use here that I have here in my uh, prospecting chart. You know, uh, how is all this going to impact your life? And do you have okay. that poster there? Yeah, I don't you see, see that all the way to yeah. the right. It says, "How is this going to impact your I life?" That. That's yeah. Matt, <laughs> Matt Ferry one hundred and one. <laughs> okay. Um, Oh, and the other thing, I liked how you said, you know, you're going to get a, a folder, a red folder. The red folder. You're trying to make a point about that. And maybe to say, you know, I'll call, I'll, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow to see if you've had a chance to go through it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with the, uh, with, with the uh, more energy. Hmm. And then, you know, you can see you're trying to write down things down and you're just like trying to keep an eye on their face to see, you know, and some, some of these time I'm starting to do it on, you know, Zoom. So, mm -hmm. but um, the, the energy is an issue. It's, it's mm -hmm. an issue when you're uh, trying to do both yes, of them, listen. write, listen, and keep the energy high. Yeah. Especially when you're now visual. So, yeah. but good point, and, good point, good point. Yeah, and I did like that you asked about the updates and, you know, yeah, um, yeah all the updates and the uh, systems and so forth. I think that's right. Important. And then one thing that I'm trying to do when I'm role playing these things, because I role played it earlier today with mm -hmm. another agent preparing for myself, I want to go through the process of actually writing down, just like if I would write in down. Yeah when I'm going, because one thing is me role playing it with you and not really writing it down yep. versus really role playing it and actually writing down. So you get both skills going on at the same time. So do you have like a, a the prequal sheet to write on it or how do you do that? Yeah. Right here. So what I do is that I grab one sheet from my binder here. Yeah. I always know where it's organized. I can think of just when I started doing this for about five years ago, mm -hmm. they had things organized. Nowadays, I know everything where it is. And the first thing, another thing is when I was role playing it this morning, I don't want to, um, I'm going to have Anne Marie do it after me now. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, when I started, you know, when I started doing this, I want to make sure that it would be as close as possible to the reality, but I was not writing it down. So everything was like real. Nowadays, I can hone it in and get it down and be fast and be done. But at the same time, you want to take your time. Another thing what I was going to say is when I started role playing it with her this morning, it was more like ring, ring. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you just finish setting up the appointment, you're gonna tell them that you're gonna call them back this afternoon to set the appointment to do the prequel, or you go do the prequel right there. So no, I do the prequel. So, so let's assume that you just set the appointment. Let's go into the prequel. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So Anne Marie, go ahead. Your turn. And well, you you pick pick anybody. Oh, did you want me to give you feedback first? Yes. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry about that. Yes, yes, yes. That's okay. Bring it on. Um, so definitely energy. I agree with Faith. Um, I wasn't sure if we, if you were actually like doing this on a zoom because neither of you guys were looking at each other. So oh, I felt I like, it was like, oh, I thought it was, I was on the phone. That's why the I wasn't was sure. Me. So okay. if it was on a zoom call, it was horrible. It was I horrible. <laughs> I wasn't looking um, at her. No, I thought I was on the okay. phone. Okay. And then, um, again, the, um, the shaking the head when you say, are you going to sell it yourself? If you aren't on a Zoom, forget that. Um, and then when it says, uh, therefore, I assume you'll list with me, uh -huh. there could have been a larger pause. You almost went right into it. You paused Ooh. a tiny bit, but I think you could have gone right into it. And then there wasn't, um, I think you handled the objection fine. There really wasn't an objection. Just Faith said she wanted some information about the market. And you said, great. Well, I'll bring that for you or I'll. Okay, we'll information, I'll bring that up. Okay, market conditions. I'll bring that for you.
but definitely the energy. I don't didn't feel it this morning. Okay, so energy, lack of energy. Okay. Stronger words. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Faith, you do it. No, Anne Marie, you do it. Who do you want to use? One of the um, two of us. I'll use Hector. Okay. I am here. So this is on the phone, right? I don't yes. need to. Okay. okay. On the phone. Okay. So Hector, before I come out, there's a couple questions that I need to ask you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Is it going to take a long time? No, it's going to be quick. Just to give me one quick minute. So Hector, if what I say makes sense and you feel comfortable and confident that I can sell your home. Are you planning to list your home with me when I come out tomorrow at noon? No. You're not planning. Yeah. Okay. May I ask why? Well, you know, I mean, we have another agent and we want to hear what they have to say coming up on Monday. So, you know, before we go with that, we decide that, you know, we're always, we never sign the first time around. Okay. And, and what agent is the agent you're going to interview on Monday? Well, you know, I mean, don't worry about that. The most important thing is that there's going to be another agent coming in on Monday. Well, uh, you know what? I have been in this industry for 15 years now. And Hector, I have a great relationship with a lot of agents. Um, so I would love to know who it is so that um, I can address that with you. Uh, well, you know, uh, her name is Faith Phillip. Oh, Faith. Yes, I know Faith. She actually yes. used to be with me at Coldwell Banker, but I think she's changed now. Yes. Great. So tell me again, Hector, where are you moving to? Well, we're moving to San Diego. San Diego. How exciting. Now, is that for business or pleasure? No, um, we're downsizing in San Diego and uh, we're moving to the outskirts of San Diego. Warmer climate, climate and just, uh, you know softer slow pace that, as opposed to la that sounds exciting have, yeah. you, have you yeah have you been to san diego before you have family there yes we have family down there in san diego we have a close friend and um you know close to carlsbad so we're not going to be moving to carlsbad but we're going to be moving in the outskirts wow. you know, well, that somewhere. is a great location and and when we get your home on the market i can help you find an agent out there that works for Coldwell Banker, so that can be seamless as well. Okay. So, Hector, how soon do you need to be there in San Diego with your, your friends and your family and close friends? Ideally, we would like to be there sometime before the end of the year, if it is possible. Okay, before the end of the year. That is perfect timing. Um, now, Hector, when I see you, how much would you like to list your home for? Well, I was thinking like about 1.3. Do you think the house, is, we can sell it for 1.3? 1.3. That's a great question. And you know what, Hector? I'm going to do my comparables as soon as we're done with this phone call. And I'm going to send you over a packet. It's going to be in a red envelope. I'll have it dropped off and let you know when it's there. Okay. And that will go over all of the comps. And it will give you an estimate of what your house would be worth. Okay. Now, Hector, as a professional real estate agent, I study homes and prices every day. Therefore, I assume you'll list with me at a price that will cause your home to sell, correct? Well, yeah. I Perfect. assume that you're going to be able to sell it for like 1.3 or probably you can tell me that it's maybe one more money than 1.3. Well, I would love to tell you that. And as soon as I get the comps, I can, we can go over that information tomorrow at noon. Now, Hector, is there a price that you won't go below? Yeah, probably like about 1.3, somewhere around there. 1.3. So, Hector, that seems to be a recurring theme. Is there a reason that you came up with 1.3? Well, you know, I mean, when, you know, we bought this house, like, uh, you know, like three, four years, about, I think it was four years ago, you know, mm -hmm. and then we've done quite a bit of upgrades to the house. So, you know, I think that when you add all the upgrades and we, we pay for the house and what it's going to cost to replace what we have put in, you know, it's, I think that it, it all adds up to 1.3. That's why I'm coming up with that number. Okay. That's great information to know. Now, Hector, how much do you owe on the property? Oh, we owe like around $400,000. That is fantastic. We've got a lot of equity that we're going yeah. to save. Perfect. Now, have you ever thought about selling it yourself? We tried that. Okay. 
Yeah, we tried that like about a year ago. That didn't work out, so. Perfect. Now, Hector, are you thinking about helping finance the home for the buyer or do you want to cash out and use that money to get you down to San Diego? Yeah, we definitely want the money back. Money back. Perfect. Yeah, you're the first one that asked me that question. Why is that important? If you want to help finance for the buyer? Yes. Oh, because um, it would be important with marketing. So if there's a buyer who needs help financing instead okay. of going to a traditional bank, and we see that a lot for self-employed buyers. Um, sometimes they've got great credit um, and they've got a lot of money, but when they go to the bank, their finances don't look as strong as traditional buyers. Mm, really? That all tomorrow when I see you at noon. Okay, it sounds good. Now, Hector, could you just describe your home for me? You said you did a lot of updates to it. Yeah, we um, we changed the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is um, it's an IKEA kitchen, but don't tell anybody about that. Does that make a difference? Um, it, it's if it's an upgraded kitchen, we can absolutely focus on the upgraded kitchen. Yeah, yeah, it's an upgraded. Yeah, we we did the kitchens and um, we use these people from IKEA, and then uh, we have a. Um, let me see. We have done some work also in the on the floors, you know, and uh, we changed the. Um, impact windows throughout Perfect. so okay now tell me about the roof yeah. oh the roof is like about two years old we put Perfect. in a um, metal roof okay. yeah that costs like about almost uh, hundred and twenty five thousand dollars wow okay and the bathrooms did you change anything in the bathroom yes we refurbished the bathrooms like around uh, two years ago as well okay and, um, you know, we use some very nice, um, uh, you know, tops, you know, quartz tops. And um, we used uh, some nice upgraded um, IKEA furniture, too. Okay. And let me ask you this, Hector. When you guys bought the home four years ago, what is something that stood out as to why you purchased it? Well, it's the location. You know, we like the location. Location was really good. It's close to the highways. Perfect. Um, you know, it's close to my office. Great. But, and is uh, there anything else about the home that you want me to know before I send over my package? Well, you know, I think that it is, you know, it's close to big shopping areas and uh, highways. So I don't know okay. how important that is nowadays and people working out of their house and not going shopping. So mm -hmm. what do you think? People are going shopping these days? Um, well, they're doing a lot more shopping on Amazon, but they still need to get out to the grocery stores and, okay. you know, yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah, we got uh, some so, safe ways. Hector, I'm going to be sending over a package of information like I mentioned earlier. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, a lot of uh, safe ways around here. Oh, perfect. That's, that's important for your location. Yes. So Hector, I'm going to send over this afternoon a red envelope um, okay. that's going to have all my information in it. Could you take some little bit of time and kind of go through that before we meet at noon tomorrow? Well, sure. What's going to be in it? Oh, that's a great question. So it's going to have your comparables, the estimate of what I believe your house is worth based on the information that you've given me. It's going to have a net sheet so you can see how much equity you'll definitely be pulling out. And okay. some information about myself and my company, Coldwell Banker. We've been in the business for over 100 years now. Mm. Okay, sounds good. You know, so, I, uh, what's, what's your commission like? That is a great question. And commissions are negotiable. So what I'll do is I'll just make a note right now that when I see you tomorrow, we will definitely be discussing commission. Wonderful. Okay. So, Hector, will all the decision makers be there tomorrow at noon? Well, uh, my wife is, uh, she was planning on doing something else, you know, going shopping, something like that. Uh, does she need to be here? Yes, definitely. Why is that important? I mean, I, I'm the decision maker. Well, because if she's on the title, she'll definitely have to sign everything. But what I found is when you go over the information, you've got a list of questions for me. And then when we sit down together, I can answer all your questions at the same time. It actually saves time for you and for your wife. And I know that's important to you, Hector. Is Should we reschedule for a time later in the afternoon? 
Well, I know, you know, I'll have her be here. Perfect. So we can take care of this one because we definitely want to move down to San Diego. Exactly. To see your family and close yeah. friends. How exciting. Exactly. Yes, yes. So, Hector, do you have any other questions before I arrive? Uh, no, no. I think that um, you, we talked about the commission. How long do you think it's going to take to sell the home? That's a great question. And one of the, one of the um, sheets in the package that I send over will say, um, it will say days on market. Sometimes it will say DOM, which is the acronym for days on market. I'll give you a very close estimate of what I think it's going to take to get your home sold based on the current market conditions. So that will be there in there as well. And that's a great question. Perfect. Okay. And Hector, just so you know, our meeting is going to take anywhere between five to 25 minutes. Is that okay? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that Perfect. sounds reasonable. Well, I thought it was going to take longer. Um, no, that's why I love to send the over information over early. Have you take a look at it. I'll walk the house. We'll sit down, answer your questions, and we'll get your home on the market to get you to San Diego before the end of the year. Beautiful. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Perfect. So Hector, I'll, I'll call you this afternoon once the package has arrived, and then I'll follow up tomorrow morning to make sure that we're still on for noon with you and your wife. Wonderful. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Really good job. Definitely a lot more energy <laughs> than I showed. A lot more energy. Um, I like some really good strong points. You know, I like the idea, you know, when you said, is it going to take a long time? I just said, no, it's going to take a quick minute. You know, you got that one really good. Uh, I think that you, you dwell on the motivation of the client. Why do you want to go there? The only thing that it was really awardy, it was why is it important to have the wife there? She may have her own questions. That's it. She may have, it's important to have her there because she may have her own questions. Okay. So even though you're the, you know, the man of the house, you know. I mean, I wouldn't even go there. I would say, yeah. you know, it's important to have her there because you went because even though that she's not entitled, you know, say it's important to have her there because she may have her own questions. You know, okay. Be done with that. Other than that, you did great. You did great. You're still using the red envelopes? No, actually, I use blue for Coldwell Banker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you buy those? Do you go on Amazon and get those? Cold yeah. Banker? Oh, the red ones? Either, yeah. Either, yeah. Or staples. No, you get them in Amazon. Let me, let me show you what I do. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, Marie, I'll just give you some feedback. Yeah, um, please. I thought it was really good, too. Really excellent. And I like the way you handled trying to get the name of the other agent. You said, mm -hmm. you know, my 15 years of experience, I have a great relationship with, what did you say after that? Um, with the other agents, I think. So, the other agents this yeah. is the red envelope. And then yeah. I, before, when I prepare my pre-listing packages, you know, I prepare a bunch of these with this, uh, like they're using, in, uh, you know, all of these like companies, you, yeah. uh, UBS, and, mm -hmm. you know, and then I just have it already preset that when I am going to, prepare the package because sometimes I use Uber to deliver the package. So I already have a pre-made large that I fold it and put it in there and it works really good. So Hector, what are those things on the outside? Like, did you get that from? Yeah, from Amazon. Is it called a sleeve or something? Uh, Plastic sleeve maybe. Hold on a second, let me, let, 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 what I'm gonna do, um, is that something that you think you're, you're, you're going to be using? Because there's a specific size that I use that I have seen, and they're real cheap. You know, they're like a hundred of these for like around six, seven dollars or ten dollars. Oh, that trick, that trick, then I'm not going to show you this trick. Hold on a second, let me show you this because if you think that you want to use this process, 
there's I don't a no maybe something different hold on a second let me show you this um, the other thing i was going to say was um you in the whatever in the big more of the beginning part what's uh you talked about um all the comps and i'm not sure like everyone mm -hmm. understands comps but then you did mm -hmm. say um what's okay. going to be in the package comparables of homes like yours or something like that so you said comps a couple times but i thought that was really excellent i like the way you explained um helping finance so that was you, you know, and then you can even do these in blue if you want to use Cobalt Banker. But what I do mm -hmm. is this is the slip. Uh, you see this? Mm -hmm. So if you're going to use this process, you definitely need to use one of these cards, which I have a bunch of them because these are cards that we have mailed out and we have a bunch of them left over. So. You take this card, you have to put it in here, inside like this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you peel it, mm -hmm. and then now that it's straight like this, you put it like this. So you have the pictures of the houses there that you saw? No, 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 no. Once you're done with that, then you take it away, and then... Oh, that's just for putting it on the envelope. It is just for putting it on the envelope because that's the only way it's going to come straight like this. Wow. Because if you're wow. trying to fight <laughs> this with glue in the back and put it here, ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. So you need this. And, you know, to me, it makes so much difference to use the red envelope. I was actually, I was role playing with Sue Walsh. She's the one that uses with Long and Foster yeah. this process. So, and so you put a, a folder in there, correct? Inside that thing? Or just papers? Mm, no. What I use, I want to show you right now. Um, let's say that, um, let me see someone, um, let me show you what I do. Okay, so. I already have preset from Mojo this thing. And I want to show you right now. It's called Uber Courier. Uber Courier? Well, I, that's how I labeled it myself. But I'll show you what it boils down to. I call it Uber Courier because, you know, I want it. So, so I'll show you the process here that I use because I've seen that makes a lot. It works for me real simple, you know, like. So it's printing right now. Okay. So you look at, you see these? this thing like this is a sheet mm -hmm. okay from yeah. my mm -hmm. database system you know i just picked anybody here but it, mm -hmm. you know but they all basically use the same template oh, so yeah. you see like this yeah yeah so what i do is real simple i fold it in half now it looks like this mm -hmm. you see that yeah, yeah. And when I'm in the rush of putting it together, the package, which is always me, I put it this inside here. And now it looks like this. Hmm. Okay, that's good. One less thing to worry about. Yeah. And then the, the with my system, I already have pre-selected the mailing address. So this goes to their mailing address, not their primary address. And mm -hmm. then that way. And then also, if it is a mail away package, what's that? What does that mean, their mailing address versus primary? Well, not 
mailing address versus a listed a property address. Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. sometimes their it's property, the mailing address is a rental. So this yeah. gas, this goes to their primary address. Right. Mm -hmm. Another thing why I use this very same system is because if it, it's a mail away package, I use the US Postal Service for mailing, for shipping. Yeah. And when you print the stamps for, you know, that's overnight, which is $798 flat fee, you print the stamp system from the Postal Service, you slip it in here the same way. Okay. Exactly the same way. Okay, good. So it, it works, you know, as far as that is concerned, it works really well. And I've seen that over time and that thing doesn't get lost. No, I didn't get it. Well, you know, that sort of thing. Okay. That's what I do. Good idea. Thank you. So what do you think about Anne Marie's performance? Yeah, I was just uh, telling her, I thought she did a great job. And I just was saying that I like how she handled the trying to get the name of the other agent. Sometimes uh -huh. you just leave it. They say no and, and I'll say okay and move on. But I think that's a good way to get get that yes. information. Mm -hmm. And oh yeah, I don't know. I think that was it, wasn't it, Anne Marie? I thought I liked the way you said um comps. you talked about comps, how I said comps instead of comparables. Yeah. She said comps a couple of times in the beginning and then she did change it to comparables when she was talking about what's in the package. I thought comps, you know, you might not have understood comps. Comparables, yeah. yeah. And she definitely had a lot of good energy. Yes. Good energy. Good yes. energy, good replies. Seemed very, like, interactive with you, was listening. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Okay, well, um, I haven't posted them. I have recorded them. I just need to post them. And some of them I have edited a little bit here in the beginning and so forth, but they're they're there. They just I just need to post them into YouTube, uh, and okay. then uh, you know we can watch them. Mm -hmm. And but I haven't seen anybody looking at them yet. Yeah, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, guys. Yay, See you next Friday. Great job. Great job. Great job. Bye bye. Bye bye.